Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, and welcome to Where's the Action? I'm your host, Ross Benjamin. I will be previewing Game 5 of the Western Conference quarterfinal playoff series between the Dallas Stars and the Anaheim Ducks, a game that will take place on Friday at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, with the opening face-off 10.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Currently, as we speak, Anaheim is a minus 160. Money line home favorite in the posted total is 5.5. The home team has won all four games in this series thus far. Well, the Anaheim Ducks felt pretty darn good about themselves going on the road for games three and four in Dallas with a 2-0 series lead. Well, now that's all changed as they were defeated in both games three and four, and now this series is all deadlocked at 2-2 headed back to Anaheim. What's even more concerning is the fact that Ryan Getzlaff, the Anaheim Ducks captain, who was injured at the end of game one, blocking his shot that hit him in the cheekbone, was able to play in games two and three, led the Ducks in scoring during the playoffs with four points through the first three games and in the regular season with 87 points as well. He was a late scratch in game four and he's questionable for game five. Obviously, he was able to play with that injury in games two and three and that injury has now began to get worse and is giving him some difficulty very important factor whether Ryan Getzlaff is a goal in game five. In addition, the Ducks have a little bit of a quandary in goal as they boost Brudrow, I should say, the head coach of the Anaheim Ducks, made a very controversial decision when he decided to go with Frederick Anderson at the beginning of the playoffs as his starting goaltender. Well, Anderson started the first four games, got off to a good start, but was quite shaky in their last game, game four, four to two loss stopping just 21 of 25 shots and being pulled in the third period of that game and replaced by the veteran Jonas Hiller. The good news is Hiller started 50 games for the Ducks during the regular season and had a streak of 11 straight starts in which the Ducks won games. Now the fact of the matter is is that whoever Boudreaux decides to go with shouldn't really matter as Anderson has proven he can get the job done despite a shaky start in his last outing and Hiller has been there and done that even though he did finish the season a little bit shaky. The Anaheim Ducks also can take solace in the fact they're 31 and 12 on home ice this season. Well, the Dallas Stars hosted their first Stanley Cup playoff game in six seasons, and they came away with a 3 0 win in game three of the series. Kerry Lettinen, who had been shaky in the first two games of the series, was absolutely outstanding in game three despite. The Stars being outshot 37 to 22 in that contest, Lettman stopped all 37 Anaheim shots on goal and shut out the number one team scoring wise in the NHL this season. Dallas responded in a different fashion in game four. After falling behind two to nothing after one period, the Stars scored four unanswered goals to win the game four to two and come away with a 2-2 split in the first four games of the series. Now it's on to Anaheim for the pivotal game five. As far as my selection goes, anytime you have a home team playing in the second half of the season and the total is five and a half and that home team's coming off a road loss, has a win percentage of between 600 and 700 like Anaheim does, and they're facing an opponent like Dallas that has a losing record versus the money line on the season. 56 of those 77 games have gone under the total during the last 18 seasons. We're going to go with the Stars and the Ducks to go under the total of 5.5 in Game 5 of this quarterfinal series on Friday evening. My name is Ross Benjamin. You've been watching Where's the Action. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.